Okay, so now we're talking about how to uh, catch a heel hook when you're in Ashi. The first one's easy, the, the heel exposure. You wanna make a grip inside of their tendons and you're just basically pulling it, putting a bend. You're not worried about reaping. You don't have to, you can, you don't have to. Heel exposure with the knee is you're pulling very tight using your knees. I'm stepping on Jake and I'm hinging my knee up, right? So your knee's here. All I'm doing is pushing in very tight. And the goal would be definitely to put it on your wrist. We're not gonna go over grips right now, but you catch. There's some different grips you can do, who cares? But just making the heel expose and then gives the opportunity to tap. That's definitely the easiest one to do. Maybe they have not very good experience or I just catch them dry, whatever it is, first one's easy. You're tight, you're an ashi, you expose the knee, you squeeze and you open, there it is, done. It gets much harder when Jake locks his knee and locks his toes out straight. You like, straight your toes. This gets much harder, his heel becomes very big to much harder to find, okay? But it's the same idea at first. If he keeps his knee turned towards me, I can do the same thing, but instead of a knee grip, I'd make a grip on his Achilles tendon or his calf. I'm gonna bridge it off and elbow strike simultaneously. Okay, keep your step locked. Okay. Turn, elbow back, I'm laying on it, caught it again. Even though he was defending correctly at first. Okay, and the third layer, the much, much harder one, when he locks the knee, locks the foot, and then he turns his whole leg away from me. Right, so when I go to get it, no amount of pulling is gonna catch. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make his ankle lay on top of your elbow. You have to come down pretty low, Chambers. The mistake you're gonna make when you do this, I'm blocking his shin with my elbow, so I wanna definitely keep him in the entanglement. The mistake you'll make is trying to reach back with your hand, and you'll catch the heel look, but your hand is back here and you have a hard time digging it out. You're like, this is not very good. That's a super common mistake. So I'm holding on my elbow. When I bridge my hips in a second, all I'm doing is bringing my elbow back and catching my elbow. Usually it's gonna be here. Obviously in an ideal heel hook, turn this way. We love to have like this watch grip, okay? What you're gonna end up with on the bottom is this, this grip here, palm up. And again, lots of different like, you know, butterfly grip, whatever. Just, you're gonna end up in a he uh, elbow deep grip when you're here. So again, assuming he's defending correctly, knee lock, toes lock, and he turns his knee away where I can't just expose. I'm blocking his shin with my elbow and I'm gonna make his heel pop inside of my elbow. Okay, so again, I'm laying here and so he can't escape. I'm putting the bend in his knee with my hips and my elbow. I'm not trying to rush and grab it. Yes, I can reach back and grab the hip, but all these things, I need to pick my hip up. All right, so I'm laying here, working my way back. Okay, so now when I pick my elbow up, and it's hard to see, or my hip up, it falls inside of my elbow. Easy access to my hand, breaking pressure. Okay, again, I'm here. Obviously, I can't just like expose the leg. He's doing a good job of not letting me, of course, so I can't get it. So I'm gonna work my way back. And push up, elbow back, making sure I'm laying on his leg so he can't roll, can't defend easily. Push back. Now his ankle is on my elbow, bottom side. I pick up, heel falls inside of my elbow. I know it's hard to see probably in the video. Elbow deep, palm to palm, heel hook. So without the floor being in the way. I'm here, laying on it because I don't want to, I'm trying to stay tight, of course, and defend. I'm working way back, pushing him to keep your knee bent right now for the video. So I'm coming to the side chambers. I'm working my heel from, or my elbow from blocking his shin, right, because I don't want to get out. I'm working it down so I can have him, his ankle, laying on the inside of my elbow. You're here. When you pick your hips up, right, his heel will fall. Turn your knee a little bit so I can show. His heel will fall in this grip here. If I go thumb down, on the grip, his heel actually pops inside. So once you catch it with your elbow, you wanna make sure you're turning your hand up and you'll catch. Okay, so one more time. First one's the easiest one. He's up here, his, has a bend in his knee. I expose with the knee. I squeeze my thighs, I push in my foot, turn him. Extremely good. Second one, um, he has his knee lock. So this is very hard to grab. But I can grab calf Achilles tendon. I'm getting a big chunk. Same thing, I expose, and I stay on my elbow, there it is. Okay, and then the first one we up, we got him here, watch grip. Second one, all three of these, if I didn't say it already, I'm elbow striking like this. I'm trying to catch his toes in my armpit like this, essentially, I'm squeezing his foot, okay? So again, second one, it's too tight, because he locked his knee, I can't find. So I grab calf slash Achilles, and I burn it off, 
Okay, it's gonna be like a mid grip. Again, there's lots of grip, but just catching here, laying on his leg. We'll talk about breaking pressure in the video. And the third one, definitely the hardest one, is when none of those first two are working. I lay on him, trying to make my legs very tight. I work my way back. He's on my, I'm on his ankle now. I don't have a heel hook yet, but he's on my ankle. I pick my hips up. His heel falls inside, if you can see this, Chambers. My elbow, palm is up. Sorry, Jake. Palm is up, lots of access. Once again, the mistake you'll make is trying to go back like this with your wrist. This grip is, Jake feels that it's very loose and it's hard to even grab my hands. When you pick your hip up, it's up, his foot's off the floor, and I drop him into place. Elbow deep, lots of access. Okay.